So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Stable Diffusion 3 medium model locally from scratch so that you can run it inside this graphical interface. Over here is where you will add the prompt for what you want to generate. And this is where you add the negative prompt for what you want the model to avoid. And if I come over here and I click Q prompt, I'll wait for a bit and there's the image generated. So let's get into it. So this is the Hugging Face repository for Stable Diffusion 3. And to download this repository, we're gonna be using Git LFS. LFS just stands for Large File System. And it's just an extension that helps us download large files more efficiently with Git. I've already got it installed, but if you haven't, you just need to run brew install Git LFS to install it. After you install it, to activate it, run git lfs install. Next, I'm going to move into my documents directory over here with cd documents. And to download the files, we do git clone. And I'm going to copy the URL from the repo, paste it in and run it. This is going to take a while and it might look like it's frozen down here, but that's just because we're downloading gigabytes of files. I'm not logged in right now because I'm on a test account, but if I pull up my normal account, you can see there are quite a few large files. They range from a few megabytes to 15 gigabytes. So make sure you have the storage space for it. Also, you can just download it here directly if you want to by clicking on any of these files, but that's quite tedious, which is why we're using Git LFS. Also, you can see up here that it's already downloaded some of the files here. So I'll just skip to when it's done and then I'll move on to the next part. All right, so now that it's done, the next thing we need to do is install Comfy UI. We're gonna go over to Comfy Manager's GitHub page, which is an extension that adds functionality on top of Comfy UI. And since it installs Comfy UI, if it's not automatically installed, we can simply just git clone this repository. And I'm gonna assume that you already have Python installed, but if you haven't, you can very easily install it using Homebrew if you just do brew install Python 3. I've already got it installed, so it's just upgrading it for me. If you want to verify it, just run which Python 3, and it'll tell you the path where your Python is installed at. Next, we're gonna install Comfy UI's dependencies that's contained within this requirements.txt. If I go down here, you can see the installation commands for both Linux and Windows. So let's copy the first command and paste it in here. For me, because I haven't added Python to my path environment variables, instead of Python, I'm gonna do Python 3. So what this command does is it just creates a vem folder, short for virtual environment, and that will contain all of the dependencies. So if you decide later on you want to uninstall everything, it's as simple as just deleting the folder. So next we'll activate the environment with .venv slash bin slash activate. And you can tell it's activated by the venv in the brackets over here. And if I run which Python 3 again, you can see that now it points to this directory. And the same thing goes for which pip as well. Next, we'll install Comfy CLI. This allows us to activate Comfy, and then we'll install Comfy with the Comfy install. Since I'm running this on my M1 Max MacBook Pro, I'll select the M series, and then it's going to ask me if I want to install Comfy UI, so I'll choose yes, and it'll start the installation. Once it's done, you should see a new folder up here named Comfy, and inside, there'll be a Comfy UI folder, and inside that, there'll be a bunch of files. For the next step, we're going to install the dependencies from the requirements.txt here as well. So I'm going to cd into Comfy, and then pip install our requirements.txt. Oh, whoops, I actually need to cd into Comfy UI first. There we go. Okay, now let's try again on the requirements. There we go. Okay, now if I go back into Stable Diffusion, if we take a look, now we've got to move some of these files into Comfy UI. So I'm gonna open up a new finder window and then go back into documents. And then inside Comfy, I'm gonna open up Comfy UI and then go into models. And then inside checkpoints, I'm gonna move the st 3 mediumsave tensors in here. And inside clips, we're gonna move the rest of the weights in here. And we'll move all of the weights inside text encoders inside here as well. And then let's close this. So I'll go into Comfy UI inside here. To launch it, we just need to run this main.py file. So I'm going to do python3 main.py. And when it's done, we just need to copy this localhost URL over here and we'll paste it inside a new tab. And there we go. So this is just showing the default workflow, but we're not actually going to be using this. What we need is Stable Diffusion's custom workflow. So I'm going to go back into Stable Diffusion 3 Medium and under Comfy Example Workflows, we'll be using the SD3 Medium Example Workflows basic.json. So let's first clear this workflow by clicking the clear button. And then we're going to load in our new workflow from Stable Diffusion. And so this is it. Stable Diffusion already gave us an example prompt over here. And in order to generate the image, and have it display over here, we just need to click Q prompt. And if you get this error, all you need to do is just close this and go over here and change the checkpoint name to be SD3 medium safe tensors. Now, if you run Q prompt, it will start loading in the model and it'll show up as Q size of one over here. And if I move over here, when it's done, the image will show up here. So I'll just fast forward through this. There's the image. 